This is Darlington, a market town in the Tees Valley in the north of England. I'm stood in the town centre, this is High Row, and traditionally this was the old route of the A1, which linked London and Edinburgh. Now, Darlington is a town with a great history, a wonderful now, and a fantastic future. So whether you're thinking about coming to Darlington to do business, or if you're looking for quality of life, Darlington's a destination with great connectivity. I live down on the coast in Kent between Dover and Deal. I come to Darlington every week um, and it sounds like a mad journey but actually it's very easy. I hop on the high speed train at Dover, brings me up to St Pancras in an hour. I walk across to King's Cross and it's two hours and 20 minutes to Darlington. The area and the location is a good fit for us. Being so close to the A1 gives us good transport links. We're also close to the ports, there's a fair amount of containers come in from the Far East. From a distribution perspective, it provides a good platform. Darlington would fall into the port-centric hinterland of, uh, of Teesport, and what I mean by that is that the benefits in the supply chain for people who both operate warehouses and manufacturing businesses, their supply chains can be drastically optimised by using the port to bring uh, international goods from uh, as far away as Asia, but as near as, uh, as Western Europe. Lundtees Valley Airport is the, the gateway for Darlington to the world. We have regular flights via KLM to Schiphol, and from there can connect to all the global locations that fly in and out of Amsterdam. We have two and a half thousand people that work on this site in total. We're based just on the outskirts of Darlington. We have quite a few people that travel here from quite a distance. We do find it is very easy for them to get here. We find we retain our staff easily and we do to this day have some staff that started here 21 years ago. We're one of the largest employers in the rural area. A lot of our staff are based in Darlington, the people in our finance section, our administration teams. We're very much part of the local economy and uh, we support them and uh, they support us. Thanks to the support, really tremendous support of the local people and visitors to Darlington, we've managed to really expand our business. Archer's Jersey Ice Cream has become quite a significant brand. Um, not only throughout the northeast, but wider afield as well. We're very lucky here that we're in, on the edge of Darlington. We're five miles out of the town. So when we started to diversify into an ice cream parlour, we were in a perfect location. Darlington's a great place to be. There's a good mixture of properties in Darlington and the surrounding villages, which are extremely pretty. One of the most popular areas at the moment is proven to be the West End of Darlington. It's close to some excellent local schooling. Some of the properties are within walking distance of the town centre. The property market in Darlington is really good. Darlington is a town that has always had ambition. Ever since we built the world's first passenger railway to the present time, we have ambition. It's a great place to locate your business, a great place to bring your family and a wonderful place to live. I'm proud to have been born here and to have lived here all my life. We've got some fantastic outdoor space, some great venues, lots of things to do on your doorstep. heritage for, for hard work, for innovation, for discovery. Ingenuity and pioneering, uh, forward thinking, I'm still here in Darlington today. It is magical, it is an experience, it's vibrant, it's got a lot to show, a lot to see. The quality of life is great.
Darlington is, is very well connected. And that connectivity is a, is a lifeblood for commerce. The more you travel, you realise that it is actually a special place. Darlington is definitely my, my adopted home. This is where I, I now spend most of my time. And um, I, I just love it. Anyone looking to relocate can have confidence that it's going to be a great place for them to put their business and get the people they need to make it work. Business decisions aren't just about is the site right, they're also about what are the schools like, what's the environment like, what are people like and I think in that context Darlington's got an awful lot to offer.